Last month, the University of Nebraska-Lincoln announced plans to create the small meat processing plant of the future. This plant of the future will be a multidisciplinary center that will seek to bolster the meat industry regionally. We recently caught up with the head of UNL's Animal Science Department, Clint Crable, to get a better understanding of how this project will benefit the meat industry in the Cornhusker State. Market Journal's Bill Dot brings us this story. The University of Nebraska-Lincoln's East Campus is planning on taking a step into the future with a newly renovated, state-of-the-art meat processing facility. Not only will this facility be a benefit to established and incoming students, but will also aim to help bolster the meatpacking industry on a regional scale. Really looking at establishing a facility where uh, those processors can come look at what a state-of-the-art facility might look like, uh, really think about their current location and facility and uh, how they may be able to leverage our resource to enhance everything from animal handling and welfare when animals arrive and are housed, uh, clear through the, uh, the abattoir and processing, and then considering uh, going from live to end product, how that best flows in the facility uh, for things like food safety and, and worker safety as well. Constructed in 1957, the Luffle Meat Lab has taken part in some groundbreaking work since its inception. However, many portions of the facility have become dated throughout the many changes the meat processing industry and animal genetics have undergone over the years. These new additions will bring updated amenities for students and workers, as well as better handling areas for animals. Particularly if we think about the, uh, the animal handling and the, the abattoir space uh, that was finished in 1957. So type of animals have certainly changed, genetics have changed over that, uh, that time. Uh, but thinking about, again, flow through a product uh, as you think about uh, uh, fabrication to primals down to processing, further processing for sausage making, et cetera and then how that gets packaged uh, and ultimately marketed and that will involve some shipping of product out in addition to utilizing our, our current store footprint or a new footprint actually to be able to market product locally. The COVID-19 pandemic has shed light on several weaknesses of our current meat processing practices. Those weaknesses include insufficient capacity of small processors to keep up with rising demand, as well as challenges with implementing new technologies and widespread workforce shortages. While the current facilities have been able to assist producers and meat processors through the pandemic, this new facility hopes to alleviate many of those concerns in the future. Uh, during, during the pandemic, one of our pork producers, Bill Lucky, was faced with potentially having to depopulate animals because the packing plants or processing plants were shut down. And we were granted permission to uh, harvest some market-ready hogs during that time. And uh, we provided that product to, uh, to the local food bank. So it was a really neat partnership between Nebraska pork producers, uh, the Department of Animal Science or, or INR and then the, the local food banks to make sure that, that we were getting product that was again ready to harvest uh, into the hands of those that had need for that product. So we just want to be better prepared to be able to step up and fill that void should something similar happen in the future. The upgrades to this facility will seek to combine academic programs with hands-on application that will help build deeper community partnerships that will in turn strengthen our region's economy by training students as well as facilitating possible internship programs to help bolster our meat processing workforce. We're thinking about those small plants that might be hiring new employees that could come and spend three days to a week here. Uh, again, to learn about the fabrication process, so all the way through cutting and, and certainly food safety or, or uh, product safety will be an important part of that training as well. So really, really all things related to the aspect of, of processing meat. So that, that's one way is to bring uh, workers here, but we also think about uh, in hiring uh, a new extension uh, specialist to be able to go out and train workforce at those plants locally throughout the state of Nebraska. So br both bringing them here, but also us going to them will be a part of that. And now, of course, we have the traditional aspect of what we've done well so many years, and that's, that's trained students. While UNL has been a leader in meat science for over 100 years, given the current challenges the meat industry has been faced with over the last couple of years, the University of Nebraska is building toward becoming a big part of that solution. Reporting for Market Journal, 
I'm Bill Dodd.